Salute. What's happening, YouTube? Nocturnal Thoughts. I'm your guy. <laughs> I'm your guy. I'm Nocturnal Thoughts. Welcome to the channel. Real quick topic. Tyson Fury will never beat Deontay Wilder. But Tyson Fury beats his battle with depression. Let me take a little sip. <sighs> Depression. As you know, Tyson Fury's done several interviews. He came out with a book called Behind the Mask. And it's talking about his lifelong lesson or his lifelong battle with going through depression, suicidal thoughts, never being able to save her life. You know what I'm saying? Like he had the one goal to become the heavyweight champion, millennial champion. And once he achieved that goal, he automatically spiraled into a, a downward, downward spiral of depression, suicide, drugs. You can imagine what not and what if. Now, one thing I got to say just real quick, because it's funny to me <clears throat> when you can have a guy like Tyson Fury, which is this is no disrespect to Tyson Fury, but you can have a guy like Tyson Fury go through depression and suicide and and violence and things of that nature, and he comes out as a hero. He comes out for a um you know, he comes out as a the the face of of, of victory when going through depression. Like a martyr. But you get a, a guy like Tupac Shakur, who represent millions of people's mentality, that's simply going through post traumatic stress, going through depression, going through suicidal thoughts. And he's labeled as a criminal, as a thug, as a rapist. You know what I'm saying? Tupac was, was suicidal. You know what I mean? I smoke a blunt to take the pain out. And if I wasn't high, I'd probably try to blow my brains out. Lord knows. You know what I mean? They should have killed me as a baby. Now they got me trapped in the storm. I'm going crazy. Forgive me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Fuck the five bowl because they after me. Kill me if they could. I never let them capture me. Then lost too many niggas to this gang banging. Homies died in my arms with his brains hanging. Fucked up, I had to tell him it was all right. And that's a lie, and he knew it when he shook and died. My God, even though I know I'm wrong, man. Hennessy make a nigga think he's strong, man. I can't sleep, so I stay up. Don't wanna fuck them bitches trying to calm me down. I ain't giving up. I'm getting lost in the weed, man. Getting high, living every day like I'm gonna die. I smoke a blunt to take the pain out. And if I wasn't high, I'd probably try to blow my brains out. He was suicidal and depressed. Post-traumatic. My neighbors, man. My neighbors, man, if they got one, one leaf on the, on the ground, they got to go to doing yard work. So forgive that noise, man. But anyways, depression ain't no joke. When I was younger, man, I was depressed was suicidal, was violent. You know what I'm saying? I went through my bouts. I feel like, and I used to think like, and that's why, I, that's why I say salute to Tyson Fury. Because things that he said were resonating true with me. Now you might not like Tyson Fury for whatever, but at the end of the day, I gotta respect Tyson Fury. Um, First of all, he's a young dude. Tyson Fury only like 33. He looked like he about 40 something, but he only like 30 something. He a young dude. And um, what he said was so true. He said material things and money and, 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 and um, fame and success and, and, and uh, all these things, all these material things on this earth cannot bring you happiness. It doesn't satisfy you. The goal in this life and the only goal, the one goal of this life is to try to just be happy. 
And I have to salute, man. That shit right there. <clears throat> because it's so hard to be my son home. It's so hard to be happy. Period. Period. Now, I know some people that's happy they ain't got a pot to piss in and a window to throw it out of, man. Live on the streets, push around carts, go out there and they pander for a little bit of, you know what I'm saying, charity. But they happy. Happy as a snug in a bug in a rug or a bug in a snug in a rug, whatever the case. <laughs> but they happy. But I put people that's rich, people that has everything, everything, all got life by the short and curlies, man. They got everything cars money beautiful family and still every day depressed mad at the world complaining straight bitch mode all the time can never find no happiness like my man john mayer said if you don't like john mayer go listen to some old school john mayer man you know one of his songs that i love gravity and one of his one of those um, lines in that song was it, I can't say it verbatim right now, but how a man can have more love than his heart can take and dream of ways to throw it all away. And that's to me, that's depression. That's depression. I understand you, Tyson Fury. When you just got, you got a beautiful family. You in a grind, you on a you on a um hamster wheel, you in a rat race, you in a rat race in life, you know what I'm saying? Trying to chase the dot the dollar, pay the bills. But at the end of the day, man, you got a beautiful family, a car to get you from A to B, a a dog that come home and jump on you, beautiful wife or a beautiful couple of girlfriends. You got the life. But you go to sleep and you wake up every day just dreaming the ways of how to fuck it up. It's like depression is this. It's the ultimate contradiction. I walk it. I know it. I understand it. You happy. But everything that makes you happy. Makes you. Sad. Sad. It makes you more than sad. It makes you feel like, it makes you feel like that. Like, fuck it, fuck it all. Like you love, you love people, but you, you hate people. You hate them. You want to kill everybody. I understand, I understand. You love, you love your, your you love your wife. You love your you love your family, but then sometimes you just like wake up and say, "Man, fuck this family, man." You love yourself. You know what I'm saying? You love yourself. You you look in them. You say, "Man, I love myself, man." But then some days you wake up and you say, "Man, fuck this life." Yeah, you want to crash into a tree. You want to. You want to jump off a bridge. You want a shotgun. You want a shotgun in a damn bathtub. It's the contradiction in life. People. YouTube. We born to die. What's the point, right? The point is to be happy. That's why I like showbiz is though. You happy all the time. Always happy. And you said it's a matter of perspective. It's a matter of perspective. Look, let me tell you something. If you a depressed person by nature, be happy about being depressed. It's so simple. If, if don't nobody get it, don't, you get it. You get it. All of you. All of you gets it. Depression doesn't have to mean that you can't love and be happy with being depressed. Embrace it. That's a message to you. Message to me. I haven't read Tyson Fury's book because I don't read books in a long time since I had the time to read a book. I might give it a, a gleam over. 
But all these professional athletes, they got all this fame, all this money, you know, all these famous people, period, especially in America. All these famous people, they got everything. They got the nicest cars, the mansions, all the fame. They go somewhere, everybody, you know what I'm saying, kissing a gluteus maximus. They signing autographs and they go into these expensive stores that we can only window shop in. And they go in there and they just buy it up. And they depressed. They suicidal. They crazy. They unhappy. Then you got middle class people. You got middle class people on the grind, day to day, grind, 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 rat race. And they can't see the, the trees for the forest or they can't see the forest for the trees. They miserable. They unhappy. They depressed. And they don't want to hear about no damn famous person that can go buy Louis Vuitton and, 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 and Gucci and you know what I'm saying? They don't want to hear about them being depressed. Like, I don't want to come home and turn the news and watch some little girl talking about she depressed because Nike fat shamed her. When I know people at McDonald's that should be depressed. Working at McDonald's, lifelong career is going to be working at McDonald's and working at Culver's and working at... Uh, you know, fast food, which no disrespect because I salute you if you work a fast food job and that's the way you make your money. I salute you. I salute you just as quick as I salute a, 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 a veteran. You know what I'm saying? I salute you if you work at McDonald's. Shit. I have more interaction with you than, than somebody that's uh, in the lab trying to cure cancer right now. They ain't making my burger that I'm going to feed to my kid. If I feed my kid McDonald's. Oh, terrible. <laughs> that's a terrible thought. <laughs> but that thought is gone. So I understand, man. Middle class depressed. Poor people. Most of the time it's ironic because most of the poor people be the happiest people. But poor people, man, they go through so much. I know. I know. I'm not going to go into detail of my childhood and all that soapbox story. But at the end of the day, man, I know. So when you poor, man, if you don't know you poor, like when you're a kid and you poor and you don't know you poor, you're happy. You know what I'm saying? You're just as happy as... Richie Rich. It's until you start getting older and you start seeing the difference between the have nots and the haves that you start to let this world smash you down and depress you. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, it should be one of these kids that's over here in, in, in um, Madagascar. That should be writing books and being famous about being depressed. Not some famous athlete that has everything, everything that should be more famous for wanting to take away his life. When you got kids breathing in soot and dust from a coal mine that's killing them and they can't they can't get but a five minute spot on a news clip and then let's talk about uh, the Bears versus whoever and five minutes later let's segue into some happy stuff let's talk about this kid over here that's getting abused let's talk about all this you know all these other places where the people are living in sure sheer sheer pandemonium sheer hell sheer post-traumatic stress depression just ultimate the, the worst you can imagine type of life. Let's talk about them for 10 minutes and then let's move on to this superstar athlete who abuses his wife because and, and, he's unhappy. He's unhappy because he's a professional football player. Psh, see, that's what I'm talking about. This is Nocturnal Thoughts. I know this was off boxing but Tyson Fury I salute Tyson Fury he he is a genius to me he might be a madman but there's a thin line between 
and a, a genius and an insane person. And Tyson Fury is living his best life outside of boxing. Inside of boxing, he will never beat Deontay Wilder. It's not going to happen. He won't. He, he takes that power. He ain't getting back up again. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, we get a chance to see that. But he has beaten so far his battle with depression, and I commend and salute that. And um, I see he living his best life. He out there wrestling. He, he, he MMA training and practicing. And that's dope. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? Because it could be another tragic story. And he's not doing a tragic story. He's trying to reverse it. And he's trying to flip it. And he's trying to shine the light on a very, very serious situation that can help a lot of people. A lot of people are inspired by his story. My final thought to you from Nocturnal Thoughts is if you are a depressed person just by nature, as am I. Embrace embrace the depression, roll with the punches, and you don't need Tyson Fury to inspire you. You inspire other people. You are just as inspirational. I am just as inspirational as Tyson Fury. I might not be able to touch as many people like that, but you still touch people in your day day to day. You can be just as inspiring to people. Your life is just as much as a testimony to the world that you survive in your situation just like anybody else. I don't care how famous they are, how rich they are, how worldwide recognized they are. You as a regular person working at McDonald's, if you are depressed, you can be an inspiration to all the people that come in contact with you. Nocturnal thoughts. I salute you. Peace. I'm out.